Hello, welcome to my channel. This is a thousand and one swatches. My name is Yvonne and today we'll be looking at some old time favorites. These are fragrances that have uh, been there for a while and we'll be revisiting them and looking at uh, some of the oldies, old favorites. And I'm just sharing some of my old favorites with you. Hopefully they'll bring back some memories. Each of these scents has a special place in my heart. Don't forget to subscribe. Next on the list, we have Euphoria. Euphoria is very popular. I love the shape of this bottle. It's so futuristic. But this perfume was launched in 2005. It is a floral. It's described as a floral, if you like florals. And the top notes here are pomegranates, raspberry, passion fruit, peach, middle notes, orchid, lotus, and champaka. I don't know what that is, but... It's in here. <laughs> Base notes are mahogany, amber, musk, violet, patchouli, and vanilla. You can see I love vanilla. So yeah, this is great. I got this as a gift a long time ago, and I just can't bring myself to finish it. So I just use it very sparingly, but it's awesome. It lasts long. It's long. It's one of those long-lasting scents, and it's one of my favorites as well. This scent, I love it so much. Uh, it reminds me of fall. This would be a great scent to use in fall. And it's a bit oily. And usually when you have the scents that are oily on the skin, those ones last longer. So it's a little oily. And it reminds me of fall. It just You just want to hug whoever is wearing this. So as soon as the top notes fade, the base notes are violet, patchouli, this scent, as soon as you spritz it, you're going to be smelling bergamot. So it's a floral woody musk and the base note is musk, vanilla and sandalwood. I love it. It makes you want to just come in for a hug. It is great for fall and it's also great for winter. This scents layer well under your jacket. So it's a bit too heavy for summer, but it's, it's very good for fall and winter. Next up, we have Gucci Rush. Look at this beautiful beautiful would i call this a bottle i can't even call it a bottle that's gucci rush it's an all-time favorite if you see me looking down i'm just reading from my notes so uh gucci rush it is described as a shipper a shipper is in the classification of perfumes that smell like oak mossy woody so that's one of those gucci rush all-time favorite so the top notes are peach californian gardenia and African freesia petals. Middle notes are coriander, damask rose, and jasmine. Base notes are patchouli, natural vanilla, and vetver. This is a very good dupe for the very expensive X for Women by Clive Christian. The first time I smelled that perfume, which is the X for Women, I'm glad I was given a sample of it. I'm glad I didn't go and purchase because it's the exact same scent. I, as soon as I smelled it, I was like, hmm, this smells very, very familiar. And it bugged me to no end until I got home that day and I said, hmm, the closest to this would be Gucci Rush. And true, as soon as I spritz it on, I was like, this is the exact same thing as uh, Gucci Rush. So if you're looking at purchasing x for women by clive christian and you're looking for a cheaper alternative gucci rush would be a better a cheaper alternative because i can tell you it's the exact same thing so again this perfume was launched in 1999 that's gucci rush next up we have saruti 1881 and this was launched in 1995 it is very mature it is a floral and the top notes are mimosa, iris, rose, freesia, violet, lily of the valley, jasmine, and bergamot. I find that this perfume, the top notes last really long. Uh, top notes are usually made of uh, citrusy uh, scents like lemon, like um, orange, orange blossom, uh, things that are light like that. But I find that the top notes of this perfume last longer than other top notes that I've tried. And uh, so the middle notes are barely existent. Uh, you can't even smell it. The middle notes here are chamomile, iris, narcissus, geranium, galbanum, jasmine, coriander, Brazilian rosewood, orange blossom, and tuberose. 
And then the base notes in this scent are musk, sandalwood, cedar, amber, and of course, vanilla. CK1, that's the next, and it was launched in the year 1994. I love this scent because it's universal, it's unisex, it's very fresh, it's very light, it is non-offensive. It is a citrus aromatic, that's how it's described. And the top notes for this scent are lemon, green notes, bergamot, pineapple, mandarin orange, cardamom, and papaya. I can definitely get the lemon and pineapple. That shows up on my skin. Bear in mind that some of these notes show up better and on some skin than others. Everything all depends on your skin chemistry. So how it's going to smell on one person is not how it's going to smell on the other person. But this is the most universally flattering uh, perfume and very cheap as well. You can get it anywhere right now. And then we have for the middle notes, Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Violet, Nutmeg, Rose, Oris Root, and Freesia. Base notes are Green Accord, Musk, Cedar, Sandalwood, Oak Moss, Amber, and Green Tea. I can definitely let you know for sure that this is the uh, this is a very fresh smelling scent. Very nice, very light, very sm uh, fresh smelling. Love it. Calvin Klein Eternity. This is another favorite. You can see it's half full. Uh, I'm beginning to use it sparingly. As soon as they go half full, I start to use them sparingly. You can still find this. It doesn't really matter, but I like to have them around. I like to see the bottle. This is a very elegant looking bottle and it was launched in the year 1998. It is described as a floral. This is a strong scent. This will stay with you for the whole day. Uh, top notes are green notes like freesia, sage, their citruses, and mandarin orange. Middle notes are carnation, lily of the valley, narcissus, marigold, violet, rose, and jasmine. And base notes are heliotrope, I don't know what that is, musk, sandalwood, amber, and patchouli. So these are the base notes. I love sandalwood. I can smell the sandalwood for sure. And I can smell the jasmine for sure. A little bit of the rose and lily of the valley, as well as the citruses like mandarin orange. So this is really good. This is not offensive at all. You just need a little spritz. Do not overdo, otherwise it becomes too much. So this is Calvin Klein Eternity. I think this is eternity for women. There's another eternity that's for men, but this one's for women. I always feel anyone can use any scents. You know, it depends on how you layer. It's always nice to try to layer scents together. Uh, one of the videos I'll be doing later, I'll be talking about how to layer scents and what not to layer on top of each other because sometimes you can layer scents and it can smell absolutely awful and then you can layer it and it becomes personal. It becomes very you. So those are the kind of things that we look forward to. Of course, that you have your signature scents. I'm not one of those signature, signature scent people. I like to try a lot of scents. I like to have different uh, scents for different moods, for different occasions, uh, for different clothes. Uh, there's some clothes I'll wear and I want to put on some certain scents. Some scents are more serious. Some scents are more flirty. Some scents are more uh, playful. Some scents are more you know, mature and, you know, very serious. So there's dinners as well. So there's different kinds of scents. You just need to uh, figure out what works for you. Of course, what works on someone else is not going to work for you. So it's always best to try in person. Uh, the reason I'm sharing this favorites is so that, you know, we can just go a walk down memory lane just take a walk down memory lane to revisit some we've forgotten gone and forgotten scents that are still really good and you can still try and then not too expensive so yeah Caroline Mitsuko that's the next one and this one is very special to me because this was given to me as a wedding gift by my husband one of my wedding gifts and it's I've had this for five good years and it's almost it's half full and i just stopped using it because just because it's for very special occasions like a special date on an anniversary it is one of those perfumes that has stood the test of time along with chanel number no. five it's one of the best love perfumes ever in history and that's why he got it because i'm special okay and we have Guerlain mitsuko 1919 
This perfume was launched in 1919. That's how old it is. And it is described as a Chypre Fruity. And the top notes are bergamot, citrus, jasmine, and rose. Definitely get the jasmine. Definitely get the bergamot. Middle notes are peach, lang lang, jasmine, rose, and lilac. I don't know why jasmine is repeated twice, but I guess the, the jasmine lingers long. So that's why it's called a heart note. So the top notes are the ones that disappear after 10 to 20 minutes. The heart notes stay there between the next 20 to an hour, at most two. And then the base notes stay for the rest of the day or for the rest of the time until the perfume fades so the base notes in this perfume are oak moss spices cinnamon vet ver and amber i love the shape of the bottle it looks very classy it's very unique and classy and the entire guerlain line looks just like this they have a lot of bottles that look very similar to this this is kind of the, i think this is the standard guerlain uh, prototype for their scents. So this is beautiful. I really love it. It looks like decadent, luxurious. And look at that juice inside. I think it turned a little. I think the color turned a little. It wasn't this, it's a, a light amber now. It was more like a lighter gold. Um, now it's not amber. And then it gets a little darker after a while, but I know it's safe. So I use it only with special occasions, but it's one of my all-time favorites. So I hope you enjoyed watching. A lot of times we make the mistake of using some scents that are supposed to be for daytime at night. And then also another thing that happens is the different seasons, like we have summer, fall or autumn, uh, we have spring and we have winter. Scents play differently on you with the different weathers. When you uh, spray a uh, scent, a uh, fragrance on your skin in winter and put on a wool coat and spray some on the wool coat, it's gonna smell different than when, for example, you have it in summer and you're sweating more or the sun is hitting you different. It's very different. And so a lot of times uh, there's mistakes made where you're using, you're using a scent that's supposed to be uh, also for the daytime and it's being used at night, uh, it's used in the office, maybe a scent that is strong and it's supposed to be used, um, you know, for dates or dinner dates and, you know, to make you smell like mysterious and, you know, and then you're using it during the day in the office and it's probably going to offend your coworkers and uh, sometimes people are very sensitive to scents and have allergies. So always remember less is more. And when you want to use your scents, it's always nice to have a good base. Uh, baby oil is a very good base for every single scent. Uh, fra fragrance free. As much as possible, use an, a fragrance free oil as a base to layer your scents. It helps them last longer. And it's always great to keep your skin as moisturized as possible. What you even take in, like what you eat, even affects what uh, the scents that you put on your skin. Body chemistry is all over the place. It's all over the place. And sometimes, aside from body chemistry, what you use as, you know, cologne, if you're using uh, like a body spray before you put on your perfume, is going gonna, it, gonna to affect the end result of the scent. So all these factors uh, play a role in how it's going to smell on you. And also, so I'll be classifying some of these scents from uh, daytime to nighttime. So daytime friendly, office friendly, CK1. Daytime friendly, office friendly. I love it. Power meeting friendly, Ceruti 1881. This, when when I use this, I, I always have like a blazer on, like a suit, a blazer. Like it's a very serious, mature scent. So this is the kind of scent you want to use when you have like a power meeting and you want to make an impression. The daytime scent is Gucci Rush. It's light, but it lasts long. But I love it because it's not offensive. It's It's very... It's definitely something that it's not offensive and you just need a few squirts and you're good to go. Far is definitely a date scent. Definitely a date scent. Definitely a night scent. It is quite strong to use during the day. It's not for everyone. And the be it's always best to use it very lightly. Guerlain Mitsuko is definitely a special occasion scent. It's definitely for the night. Uh, you know, it smells very strong. It's really strong. It's very mysterious. It's very... Oh, what does she have on? This is definitely 
not for office this is definitely this would be great for that dinner date that you know nighttime out in club whatever the case may be this would be great for that this is the mac mv1 this is uh, mv1 creations this is definitely a daytime scent this is definitely a good scent for office very light um, it also lasts that's what i love about it it's light and it's very scrumptious but it's also not offensive this can be used in the office this can be used it's it's also a very good uh, fall scent i like it for fall as well so this is one of my fall uh, staples and you can see i use it very sparingly this is only a 20 ml bottle the bottle is so beautiful i love the bottle it's so small it can just fit see it's, it fits into the palm of my hand and it fits into uh one of those uh, you know the cross bodies that are so popular right now you can just put this into your crossbody with one of your lipsticks or one of your lip glosses and your phones and you're good to go so i love this eternity for women this definitely it's it's a it's a daytime perfume and it can transition into night depending on how you use it uh, it lasts really long it lasts like the whole day it some people would describe this as a very linear perfume like it doesn't change that much throughout the day so you definitely want to be careful how much you use it not everyone likes it so this is something you should wear closer to your skin than on your clothes it's one of those that are better to wear on your skin this is also great for summer this would um transition well in summer this will like blossom on your skin so it's really nice for summer and uh, make sure to remember not to spray too much just a little sparingly thank you so much for watching i'm going to be putting down below i'm going to be putting uh, the descriptions for every single scent that i mentioned today and i hope you enjoyed this as much as i do and of course feel free to try some of them you know try one or the other these are old classics these are uh, all-time favorites sometimes we forget this there's so much the, the the market is so saturated with so many perfumes right now and it's like oh gosh sometimes it's nice to revisit the all-time favorites so that's just what i did here with you guys today and i'm hoping that you enjoyed this video so please feel free to subscribe always feel free to come back and hang out with me on this channel a thousand and one swatches subscribe i don't know where i'm gonna put that but wherever i put it please just click like the video subscribe and until next time have a great day